led by uh, Julius Malema, the economic freedom fighters. Well, today they were at uh, Kukuletu and we saw beautiful scenes there uh, at Kukuletu and no one can actually a dispute that Malema's party has done uh, very well since its uh, inception. It has been existing now, it's going for almost 10 years uh, in existence within the politics uh, of the Republic of South Africa. And this political party has been doing extremely well and it has been growing, obviously, uh, not according to the anticipation of other people, but I think the political party is on track. And on this live broadcast, I will also so be chronicling uh, the possibilities of Malema becoming the president of the Republic of South Africa. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Shon Pani uh, Music uh, TV. If you're watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button uh, so that next time on Repim Live, guess what? You become the first one to watch us. So every time when you listen to Julius Malema speaking in South Africa, he's speaking like a presidential material uh, that pan-African leader that Africa is looking uh, for within the African continent. For example, today uh, at Kukule, to the points that he underscored, uh, and he's not, he has grown these days not to be a populist, but to be an ideological driven a uh, political uh, leader in Africa, uh, not only in South Africa. No wonder why he is envied everywhere. And when Julius Malema speaks, uh, I can attest, uh, Africa listens. Uh, is one of the most influential uh, youthful leaders of our time to emerge uh, over the Republic of South Africa. Uh, and uh, of, I, I have attested that the, the party has been uh, growing, and I'm sure definitely Definitely, uh, come 2024, uh, it will also grow. So, uh, just to briefly discuss what he talked about at Kukuletu, uh, while he's campaigning to the economic freedom uh, fighters members, he underscored uh, the importance of African unity, uh, even going to an extent of saying uh, he will not uh, tolerate or accept uh, xenophobic uh, voters. Uh, he wants to see. Africa being united is one of an individual uh, who speak uh, the proper message for the uh, for the people of South Africans. It doesn't deceive uh, the South Africans like other uh, politicians who will just waffle and lie for the purposes of getting uh, the votes. And also, he talked about how the problems of South Africa started issues uh, of the borders, and he is always on point uh, when he is talking about these issues. And I have seen maturity uh, on Julius Malema. Now, uh, let me go to. I, I, I don't want to be focusing on the uh, rally that uh, I mean is currently underway uh, at Kukuletu. He's currently addressing his supporters uh, at Kukuletu. Uh, so he talked about quite a number of uh, issues, what the EFF intends to do. Uh, uh, man, uh, I mean, uh, clearly uh, exhibiting his manifesto to the members of the public and i'm sure that is public knowledge but the interesting part that i want to discuss uh, on the possibilities of julius malema becoming the president uh, of the republic of south africa uh, he stands a chance to become the president now look how uh, am i saying he will this get two-thirds majority uh, definitely it may not get a uh, two-thirds uh, majority because uh, the, the, the 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 competition is intense this time around yes he will have uh, a lot of people voting for EFF. A lot of people will vote for him, uh, will vote for his political party. But uh, South Africa this year is bound to be uh, actually ruled by a coalition uh, government. Uh, so there are new political parties like MK political party. Uh, there is a political party, the ACT, which is led by Esma Hashule, uh, the EFF. Uh, you look at this, that other party, uh, led by Vuyo Zungula, I've forgotten the name, uh, when I remember about it, uh, it will, uh, I will talk about it. Uh, there are quite a number uh, of uh, political parties that are like-minded, even though others are extreme. And if these political parties, like the Economic Freedom Fighters, uh, MK Political Party, uh, ACT Political Party, gets 
enough votes, uh, votes that will see these parties getting more than uh, 50 percent. Uh, there is a possibility that they will formulate a coalition. Now, if you look at MK party, it is led by Jacob Zuma, and they are saying they are fronting him uh, as their presidential uh, candidate. And we know that according to the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa, uh, they say it, Zuma is not eligible to contest uh, to be the next president of the Republic of South Africa due to uh, the criminal record that uh, he has, whereby the Constitutional Court for the first time uh, in the history of the Republic of South Africa sent someone uh, to the prison. Uh, but uh, we've heard also the president of MK party, Jacob Zuma, uh, saying they will be formulating a, a, a group of like-minded political, black political, he calls them uh, pro-black political parties. And these pro-black political parties, uh, it includes your EFF, uh, it includes uh, in the context of Jacob Zuma, it also includes uh, the MK party, uh, it also includes political parties like ACT. That is why you have seen uh, when Jacob Zuma is appearing in Free State, uh, we've also seen the likes of Esma Ashule uh, come there, uh, uh, working with uh, Jacob Zuma. So there is a probability that these political, but they have said already uh, that they are carrying out underground. Zuma said revealed that they are carrying out uh, underground discussions. So if these political parties get more than 50%, I can tell you Julius Malema uh, would be one of the suitable candidates to lead that particular uh, coalition government. So I'm, I'm, I'm not predicting him uh, that he will uh, actually get to the presidency through only the votes uh, that will be given to him through his own political party, the Economic Freedom Fighters. But uh, the votes that will actually be accumulated uh, by these uh, black, uh, like-minded uh, political parties in South Africa, they may actually come together. And uh, one of the candidates who is suitable uh, to actually lead as the president, to lead that coalition, uh, it is a uh, uh, Julius uh, Malema, I foresee Julius Malema uh, leading that coalition uh, and having a, 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 an agreement. Obviously, if uh, he gets to lead that coalition, uh, because these political parties will be coming together through a coalition uh, government, uh, there will be some agreements on what exactly uh, to do uh, as a government. If you look at MK, uh, the Economic Freedom Fighters, their policies are almost the same. Uh, all of them, they are actually uh, advocating uh, for, for land expropriation uh, without compensation. Uh, all of them, they are actually uh, advocating for the emancipation of uh, the black South Africans in, in South Africa. Uh, all of them also, uh, especially Especially when you look at a, a, pre, a former president like Jacob Zuma, he's one of the individuals during his tenure as the president who promoted so much uh, black unity uh, and uh, the pan-Africanism. Uh, so uh, I foresee Julius Malema, especially if these political parties do well. Uh, unless if these political parties uh, will not do well. But there is a high probability uh, that if they push very, very hard, uh, they are bound to get more than a uh, two-thirds uh, majority. And if I'm correct, uh, then you may see Julius Malema being the next president uh, of the Republic of South Africa because he is the most suit he is suited and he has worked very, very hard uh, for it and he deserves it. And I think Africa also uh, will endorse an individual uh, like Julius Malema. And I don't think other political parties will have a problem uh, of him leading that particular uh, coalition government. Unless if the voters of South Africa uh, votes the other way around, the, the, the contestation uh, still goes on. Uh, and uh, we will await to see, we are following with keen interest what is happening uh, in our neighbor, uh, South Africa. Thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us,